Chip manufacturing is a huge undertaking. A chip the size of a fingernail needs to go through a series of complex and precise work before it can be applied to electronic products. Thanks to the efforts of Chinese scientists and enterprises, China's wafer fabrication and chip design have reached the world's leading level, but due to the lack of high-end lithography machines, mass production of high-end chips has never been achieved. In the face of China's chip dilemma, Du Lingjie, a semiconductor genius studying in the United States, refused the high salary and all preferential treatment, and resolutely chose to return to China. When asked why he had to go back to China, he said, it wasn't a difficult decision for me. Before I went to study in the United States, I made up my mind that I would go back to China after I finished my studies. So rejecting a high salary was something I had long anticipated and decided on. I don't know if you've heard the name Du Lingjie, who successfully used his method in college to prove that in the case of quantum interference, traditional mathematical theories are inapplicable. Du, as a student, solved the problem that had plagued scientists for many years. Later, he went to study at Rice University in the United States and chose semiconductor artificial graphene quantum simulation as his research direction. During his studies, he repeatedly made breakthroughs in the field of semiconductors. At this time, he was already man of the hour in the semiconductor industry in the United States. Will the United States just sit back and watch him leave? What may do insist on returning to China? As a rare semiconductor genius, what breakthroughs has he made in this field, and can he lead China out of the semiconductor crisis? Hi, welcome to Tech Teller. In this video, let's get close to the story of Du Lingjie, a semiconductor genius. Du Lingjie was born in Zhenjing, Jiangsu. His parents were intellectuals, and his family had a strong learning atmosphere. Under the influence of his father, Du did not like watching cartoons when he was young, but liked watching science and education programs and science fiction stories. He was very interested in science since he was a child. In 2011, Du graduated with a master's degree. With excellent grades, he applied for a full scholarship to Rice University in the United States. He followed the professor and began to conduct in-depth research on quantum simulation of semiconductor artificial graphene. The reason why he chose this field is that he has a lot of foundation in quantum experiments. In addition, the research almost represents the development trend in the semiconductor field. More importantly, at that time, Du felt that the development of China's semiconductor field is basically restricted by the United States in all aspects, and most of the semiconductor lattices come from nature rather than artificial. He is very worried that semiconductors will be monopolized by the United States in the future, resulting in China not even qualified to compete in this field. Because of the lack of talents, he is willing to contribute to the development of his motherland. Later, he went to Columbia University for a postdoc. During this period, Du and Professor Pinksuk cooperated to realize the quantum model of semiconductor artificial graphene. After that, he developed a new set of nanofabrication processes himself. These experimental results lay the foundation for a new platform for semiconductor artificial lattices to achieve quantum simulations of different topologies and novel electronic states. Du said, lattices and energy bands are the foundation of the modern semiconductor industry, and the regulation of energy bands is of great significance to the semiconductor industry. Before the lattice of most materials was natural, now we can create our own through semiconductor electronic artificial lattices. Lattice, some even do not exist in nature, so as to achieve the purpose of energy band regulation, better meet the needs, and achieve specific electronic properties. The realization of superconductivity on integratable artificial lattices of semiconductors could revolutionize the semiconductor industry. From Rice University to Columbia University, Du switched from experimental electrical research to experimental optical research. Someone asked him, why did you choose to do optics? Du replied, you have to do more things while you are young to broaden your horizons. The world is very big, and only with a wide horizon can you go to a bigger world. 
Du has repeatedly made breakthroughs in the field of semiconductors. At this time, he is already a man of the hour in the semiconductor industry in the United States. The United States attaches great importance to Du, and offered him generous conditions to keep him in the United States. But Du knew that China was relatively weak in the semiconductor field, and the chip battle between China and the United States was fierce at that time. Du said, how can I stay in the United States at this time? He rejected the million-dollar annual salary and high-quality treatment offered by American companies, and decided to return to China. After returning to China, Du said, I was blocked by the United States when I came back. Several companies offered amazing salaries and promised to invest in the projects I was researching. But I knew in my heart that the motherland needed me. I study abroad in order to serve the motherland one day. In 2019, Du returned to China and chose to return to his alma mater Nanjing University to work, determined to make Chinese chips. In less than five months after returning to China, Du set up a team and prepared infrastructure for work. The school is very close to his hometown, but after returning to China, Du has been busy building the laboratory and rarely returns home. Du said, there must be no mistakes in the construction of the laboratory. All aspects need to be considered, and it is most reassuring to do it yourself. At present, Du's research direction is based on semiconductor electronic devices, through comprehensive electrical and optical measurement methods to study new condensed states and new topological states of electrons at extremely low temperatures, as well as their application in quantum computing. Du aid, in terms of semiconductor electronic artificial lattice and other aspects, the research done by our team is the most cutting edge in the world. While doing research, Du is also committed to cultivating new forces for Chinese scientific research. As a tutor, he encourages students to try the integration of multiple disciplines, which can effectively broaden their horizons. He also shared his learning and research experience with students to help. All in all, the development of a country is inseparable from the support of talents. No matter in any era, talents can play a key role in promoting all walks of life. But to be honest, China's education and training of top talents is far behind that of Western developed countries. In order to allow them to learn more, the state does not hesitate to give them public funds to study abroad. Some people are attracted by the technological environment of Western countries after graduation and never come back, but there are also some people who give up the preferential treatment offered by Western countries and resolutely return to China. Among them is the semiconductor genius Du Lingjie. Although there is a gap between China and the United States today, the gap is constantly narrowing due to the efforts of excellent patriotic scientists like Du Lingjie. It is because of them that the future of China's semiconductors is bright, and China's scientific research will have infinite possibilities. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. See you.